tanks have been shut off, so there shouldn't be a problem with the uh, oil not leaking out too much. The bigger ones are a 4,000 pound lift. Okay, we put we put one on each each side of the stern right now to see if we could bring it up. What we have to do to get this boat lifted, we have to start by getting float bags attached to the actual shafts. So before we can get a diver underneath this vessel, we got to get it lifted up enough and secured high enough that he can swim underneath this boat. He's going to be underneath there. Eric. It's been right there. Pull on your side, Tom. Here, I'll walk this line out so we can get the kinks out of it. These newer lines are kinks. Buddy. I can't pull. That is so mad. We don't like to find boaters uh, for such a big incident based on the fact that they already have enough trouble with the boat sinking and that's an expensive process to raise it. Um, with the boat this size, there's a lot of diesel on the boat on board, so unless it becomes a major environmental problem, you only get a warning for it. Because right now, there's not that much diesel in the water, and that's why we try to minimize the impact to the environment. If all the diesel comes out, a lot more comes out, um, we'll probably issue the guy a fine. I want her a fine, but at this point in time, I don't foresee a fine. Yeah, you because, can smell it, can you? Yes, you can smell it this time. Yeah. But if you go around the boat and take a look, the, the diesel impact is very minimal. Good. And um, Vessel Assist is doing a very good job at containing any pollution that has occurred already. Yeah. So, therefore, if they keep it contained, it doesn't get any worse, we'll probably issue the boat a warning. Basically, it prompts him to take better maintenance care of his boat, be on his boat a little bit more, take a, take a I think I'm more interested in that older vessel that, that the owner's not always on. Correct. How often do you see this where boats uh, sink in their slip in San Diego? This happens um, fairly often. Uh, a, lot of a lot of boaters throughout the, the San Diego area don't live on, their, live on their boat, they don't visit their boat much. Most of the owners are from um, Arizona, uh, Northern California, because it's a very beautiful area down here, so they don't get to come down here that much, but they keep their boats down here. Mm -hmm. So you see quite often when the owners aren't around. We've just added uh, 8,000 more pounds of lift onto the prop shafts uh, to try to get that stern back up. We have to raise the stern above the gunnels so that the water doesn't roll back in. Once we raise our stern up, then we're going to bring two of the bags back there, bring them forward, run a line underneath the bow midship, hook those two together and secure them, and lift and keep this full as well. This four is purging pretty hard. It's got a lot of weight on it. I'm putting everything open on the, on the starboard because we still got a little less that way. You're okay. Yeah, I'll fill that side up. Down. Fill that too. Yeah, and I need two more two set up. The, the bigger one there is a 4,000 pound 
and then these on the stern here are 2,000. What, underneath the boat, to get this to even come up a little bit, we put 20,000 pounds of lift. Uh, two, uh, two fours and four twos, and uh, I'm sorry, six twos. All right, I'm here this morning with Vessel Assist Captain Eric Lamb. So Eric, for everyone who doesn't know what Vessel Assist is on the water, let's tell them about Vessel Assist in San Diego. Okay, well, uh, the easiest way to put it is Vessel Assist is very similar to something like AAA in the respect that uh, it's a membership-based organization nationwide that deals strictly with the boating community. Uh, if you are on a vessel, and it breaks down, we'll come out and get you. We'll bring you back, we'll bring you fuel, we'll give you jump starts, we'll do whatever needs to be to get you either back underway or back to a safe harbor. So tell us about when the fog rolls in, how many people on average, people in San Diego don't know this, when it's foggy, vessels, this is very busy. <laughs> We're very busy. You and a lot of it is, you know this, people get afraid and they can't find their way back in and they're afraid of the fairways because they can't see and they either don't use a radar or don't know how to use a radar so you guys are pretty busy you hmm. have a lot of a lot of boaters out here that spend a lot of money on their vessels they'll spend over a million dollars on a boat and then take it out and still not know, know anything about what it what it is mm -hmm. they'll go out in certain times of the year the fog here rolls in real quick and all of a sudden they may be right offshore and completely surrounded in fog and not know where they're going. And we go out all the time and provide escort service. We'll find them and have them get right behind us or we'll put a tow line to them so that they stay behind us and bring them back in. Mm -hmm. um, it happens all the time. They can have the most expensive radar and plotters and, and gear on board, but unless they take the time to not understand how to use them. Yeah. And I always think of vessel assist on foggy nights because I know they're busy. All uh, dragging people in because they can't find their way home. Mm -hmm. uh, we have something going on right now that's that's one major problem, and that's we just started lobster season. Yeah, and exactly. We, Friday night, whole, midnight. The whole coastline right now is full of lobster traps, and we get people all the time running over them at night, yeah. uh, fouling up their props, and then they're dead in the water and stuck stuck near a lobster trap or, or drifting back mm -hmm. towards shore with a trap hung on their prop. Mm -hmm. uh, it happens all the time. Vessel Assist also does a lot of great salvages. When boats run aground from Mexico on up, these guys can definitely pretty much get any boat off of big, small, barges, whatever. Anything that runs aground on rocks or sand or beach or anywhere, they find a way to drag it off, pop it up, even if it's at the bottom, you guys can We just had one last some week. barrels and bring them up. We just had one last week uh, that hit the Mission Bay jetty. Oh, yeah. uh, it was about a 40-foot uh, sport fisher. He came in, got a little disoriented, went straight in and hit it, hit the rocks on the way in uh, at the end of the South jetty. Um, he was the he got off the vessel. I guess they swam to shore, and the lifeguards went out and tried to pull the boat back off, but there were too many holes in it, and the boat sunk right in front of the fairway of, of going into the jetty. Yeah. So they had to get, even though it, it was a sunk vessel, it was right in the entrance, and they had to get it off. And they contracted us to go out, and we took care of uh, sending our divers down with float bags and everything else. We were able to bring it to shore or bring it up to the surface. And at that point, even though we couldn't raise it all the way so it could float on its own because of the size of the holes, we were able to get it uh, floating with our float bags and drag it in so that we could get it hauled out and, mm -hmm. and taken care of. My name is Robert Butler. I own Vessel Assist San Diego. A lot of people uh, 
want to know what the difference between Boat US and Vessel Assist is. Vessel Assist is a membership base uh, provided by Boat US. Actually, they're one and the same company. What we offer is unlimited free towing, fuel delivery, jump starts, and parts deliveries. Pretty much anywhere from San Diego to 100 miles south, out to uh, Santa Barbara to 100 miles north. You get your discounts at West Marine with us. The power of 600,000 members uh, going to Washington looking after the private boater is probably one of the biggest assets that your membership actually has. Different cards we have are anywhere from dollar limited cards, which we uh, offer our basic boaters who don't hardly ever use their boats to our unlimited and our captain's card. Our captain's card covers you for uh, up to 40 miles offshore, uh, free towing, fuel deliveries and jump starts. Our gold card's a little bit more, but it offers the, the yachter who wants everything a little bit more. We got some of the best insurance in the country. If you were to run out of fuel, we'd come out, we'd deliver you fuel. Of course, you'd pay for the fuel, but the, the service itself would be free. If you were to go soft to ground, say in San Diego Bay somewhere, uh, that would be provided for. We'd be able to pull you off the shoal for free. This boat's probably the fastest boat on in Southern California for response. With uh, two guys my size and, and all the equipment on it, it, it'll average about 40 knots. Making our, our response to, to quick cases a little better. Uh, the boat itself has been, like I said, proven in every ocean or every waterway we've got in the United States. The other thing we do with this boat is ROV work. I have an underwater uh, robot, under an ROV. Last year we went to Lake Powell and we recovered a vessel out of 400 feet of water with it. And uh, we're actually working on a project right now off of Santa Barbara with it right now, looking at a sailboat in 190 feet of water. Vessel Assist San Diego operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You can call us at 619-235-8273 or simply hail us on channel 16 VHF radio. But whatever you do, make sure you have your Vessel Assist membership before you go out on the water. That way we can provide you with free, unlimited towing anywhere in San Diego area or Southern California. I gotta go out and pick up uh, Brian from the Compass and Dieter off of the first uh, Korean tanker that NASCO built that's out there and I gotta go out and go pick them up. Golden State, Golden State, Golden State. That's what I said, show I'm not safe. Tanker Golden State. Roger, Golden Stage, uh, can we go on three minutes? Yeah, that's the uh, affirmative. Uh, as you can see, we're still in the process of rigging the uh, accommodation ladder first and then position the uh, uh, pilot ladder next to it. As soon as that's rigged, uh, we'll uh, call you back in and uh, commence uh, uh, transferring. Standing by one, two, and one, sir. That sucker is way out of the water. Well, they'll come out, they'll the pull up next to them, lighter, you know, the oil. And then they're small enough they can get into a lot of other areas. Because they haven't been building them this small enough for quite a while that I can that I've seen. Most of these tankers are a lot bigger. You want me to swing around the stern or go around the bow and come in across? Okay. You want you wanna get up on the front? Well everything is gonna happen right here. Could you tie? Yeah. Uh, 
Well, they told me I couldn't stay. Why? Because they don't have enough room or whatever, I guess. But <laughs> I don't really have a job. I just come from engineering to, you know, to oh, watch the anchor and okay. stuff like that. I think they're dropping the anchor. Yeah. But seeing them do this stuff, I might have to join the test trial. Send you a list of stuff that he needed tomorrow. I like being on the water. So I, oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind. We're just gonna stand by in case something happens where they can't get them back up. And we need probably if we need to tow them back in, or if we don't have to tow them back in, then we'll rig them to the side where the cranes hoist to pick them back up, and we'll put them back in position where they can be picked back up. Hey, anchor, you going back up? Yeah. How long you guys hang around here, though? Right. They gonna stay here anchored for two days. When we come out Friday. Here's where we're going to meet them here and bring out our passengers here. Out here or over here? Right, right there. Oh, okay. They're, they're going to drop anchor right there and they're going to be here for two days. Wait a minute, they're anchored here? They, not, they're, not over at Rhodes? They're anchoring right now. Wow, okay. What a day out here. Beautiful. Gosh. Some weeks ago in the Long Beach Anchorage, we got tank off. Uh, three baby seals on the on the rod up. Oh, really? Enjoying the sun, yeah. <laughs> I like in Newport Beach where they have to put that that uh, snow fencing around their boat. You know, have you seen that? No. Because if they don't, the seals jump up on their boat. Oh, my God, wrong side Thank you. 